Hey, people, Zarn Thwomp here, and welcome to episode 19 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time, we finished the Great Bay Temple, we defeated Yorg, and we saved the Great Bay region. And now we're moving on to the final temple in the game, the Stone Tower. So without further ado, let's go. Yeah, for this one, we just need to bring out the platforms. Okay, we'll put Link on the next one. And finally, go on Link. I think you only need to do two. I'm risking it, darn it. We're risking it. I don't want to play the song if I don't have to. Ah, screw it. Okay, which one is it? I think it's the Mikau one. Why can't we just have a normal entrance way into the temple? Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's go inside the temple. And as you can see, this place is twist turned upside down. So anyways, we got some dragonflies over here. Yeah, long time no see for these guys. So anyways, we're going to want to make that chest appear. Even though we're not getting any straight berries out of this place. We are going to need to use this. Okay, so I think we're going to want to go through this door first. Yep, right over here. Okay, so anyways, just remember these chests that are on the ceiling, because we will be getting them later. So anyways, don't destroy the milk crate. The milk crate is helpful. The milk crate is grand. The milk crate means one less elegy of emptiness that you have to play. Get away, get away, get away. We're not letting you destroy our precious milk crate. Okay, Goron Mask. Only Goron Link can press the switch. Okay, come on. And 
friend, finally. Let's go with Ben. Yeah, so as you can see, this song is an actual puzzle helmet in this dungeon itself. It's not like the other songs were like, just play it once and ride the turtle. Cause the Gorhan to fall. Rise the temple up from the swamp bed. Okay, so anyways, let's sound down. Okay, so anyways, everyone's best friend returns here. We got the Armos. Yeah, for the longest time, this area just messed with me. Because I wasn't thinking, oh, hey, they're going to put Armos in the lava. Okay, and also look around this room. Okay. Let's get the hookshot out. It's pretty dark, but now I get it. Don't tell me you still haven't figured it out. Yeah, this did actually mess with me. I will be honest with you. I got bamboozled by this section. Because the game does explicitly tell you, hey, go up here. Destroy the destroy the dragonfly while blasting this down. And there we go. Okay. Not enough range, unfortunately, so Goron Mask. Yeah, bombs, bomb mask, frick freaking bomber man at this point. Thankfully Goron Link can actually deal with the Armos pretty well. I love this upgrade. Yeah, take that. And for our troubles. We got the dungeon map. actually to all the armos and that gets us the key this threw me off so badly when I first did this dungeon because I'm like what am I supposed to do what am I supposed to do because it's not like you're used to just detonating non-cracked surfaces from the from the floor sure you're used to secret bomb walls but not for secret bomb floors Okay, so anyways, welcome to the water room, where Zora Link gets to shine. Okay, so anyways. So anyways, let's just get going down here. Yeah, we're probably not going to deal with that switch. That switch is probably just for a straight fairy chest. Okay, so... Let's just get over here. But anyways, this temple, I love the aesthetic of it. Because basically, it just has its unique vibe to it. Where basically, it just feels like you're in some surrealist dream. Anyways. 
Anyways, straight fairy chest. Anyways, one of the main themes of this dungeon. Mirrors. You charge up the mirror. And then you basically just... And then you use that mirror to basically... To destroy the light block. Ah, cannot talk. <laughs> yeah, I just love that jump scare bomb shoot right there. Okay, anyways, this takes us back to the main room. Yeah, we don't need to really worry about this one. Yeah, I think that we have to go through that door, but I just want to double check down here just to make sure we're not missing anything. I think that we could need a... That will need a key. Yeah, but it is definitely liberating not having to deal with strafe berries. And there's just so much dedicated to stray fairies. Seriously, all these switches we're hitting, stray fairies, stray fairies. And if you're searching for them, basic if you're basically seeking them out, it can be just a pain just trying to find them all. Okay, anyways. Just if you're curious, the stray fairy the stray fairies for this temple are cream colored. Alright. We don't have the key. Thought we had the key for a second, but apparently we did not. Okay. Yeah, no problem. We'll just find that key. Yeah, we got plenty of time to do this temple. We just need to complete it by midnight on the third day. So, yeah, we're, we should have, we'll have plenty of time. Heck, we should even have some time to knock out a side quest or two. Okay, I'm just trying to think about how to get through this place. Okay. I think it could be potentially in the previous area. Oh yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm not the most acquainted when it comes to this dungeon. I play this I have played this game, but darn it, sometimes this dungeon just gets the best of me. You ever have that where you play a game but then you just get brain fart? You get a bad brain fart when you're doing the dungeon that you think you know so well. There we go. Small key. Right now I'm paranoid. Yeah, thankfully when it comes to the whole day transitional cycle where you know the screen just goes really small, that does not happen in dungeons. So base so take solace in that. Ah. Butter cut. Buttercups. I was about to say, yeah, butter cuts. I cut myself on a freaking stick of butter. Okay, that, that works. I'll take it. Okay, that's how you get up there. Yeah, you just use the hand. Don't do the Zarth want method, which is make things harder. All for a straight... All for a straight fairy. A straight fairy that I'm not even collecting. You're seeing the straight fairies whether you want to or not. Okay. Well, 
now we can just get out of here. Okay, we should be nearing the mini boss. Okay, no, it's this room. This room that can be extremely irritating depending on just how your luck is. Okay, so anyways, this one. Just punch him away. Anyways, welcome to the Black Bow Room! Where the Black Bows make their return and they're like, No, you don't get nice things. Yeah, if you shine your light on the wrong sun, don't worry, it's not going to penalize you or anything. It's not going to activate a trap. It's not going to do anything like that. It only serves to benefit you. And these things respawn, because basically the game was like, you know what? Why, why should we make this room fun? Why should we make this room enjoyable for people? Yeah, that's the thing with this room, where basically, you gotta keep your light on the mirror, run over, and hope you get enough charge before a black bow interrupts you. Okay, that's a straight fairy. Okay, shine that light as much as we can. And there we go. Room done. Anyways, we're not dealing with you. Okay, anyways, Deku Scrub time. This time we have Wind. And essentially, this is the ultimate challenge. This is one of the ultimate challenges of our Deku Scrub abilities. Dawn of the final day, 24 hours remain. Yeah, anyways, th the chests in this room, I believe that they are only straight berries. That one down there is a time straight berry chest. Okay, good, we dodged that, and... Yes! Oh, that was a close one. So yeah, just note that's a straight fairy. And we're not collecting that, so... We can just say, screw you, straight fairy! Anyways, welcome to the main boss room! Come on, 
Stop doing that, man. How are you blocking our freaking Gilded Sword? We want a refund. Come on, I've never had this much of a hard time with this guy before. Come on. Flash! How is he deflecting? There! To think I could be defeated. Although my rival, you were spectacular. I shall take my bow by opening my heart and revealing my wisdom. If you shoot that which releases the sacred golden light into the blood-stained red emblem outside the temple, it shall rearrange things in which the earth is born in the heavens and the moon is born on the earth. Do not forget these words. Die I shall, leaving no corpse. That is the law of Ascara. Yeah, so basically, based on how he didn't, you know, burst into flames, that could have been an actual real Garo. One that wasn't dead. Okay, so anyways, now that we have this done, we're pretty much done with the temple. Rather, basically, we're done with this half of the temple. It's a hip loop. Quickly dodge it if it's charge you, but you can't deal. But can't you do something about that mask it's wearing? Yes, we can. Oh, I'm paranoid now. I believe that's just a straight berry chest. That feeling when you don't know what the chest contains, and you're like, what, should I risk it? Yeah, it's good to just get all these hearts. Thank you, resistance. If we didn't have the resistance, chances are we'd be dead. Okay. Let's hit that switch and see what the chest is. I don't think it's a key. I think it's just a straight berry. But it's good to be on the safe side. It's always good to check. Yep, straight berry. Yeah, basically, the grand bulk of the chests here are going to be... Uh, the straight berries here are going to be chest-based. And it throws you off when you're basically like, do I need to get open that chest to get a key that I'll be missing later? I'll be just searching like a madman for it. Okay. Anyways, light arrows. Very magic-intensive. But they do the job. It's an eye gore! Simply attacking is no good! I say you should pay attention to the subtle changes in its eye! Just shoot in the eye, Link! And with that, we're back in the temple! Uh, yeah, we've always been in the temple. Anyways, we're back in the main room of the temple. So anyways. Now that we have light arrows, we can actually activate these suns on their own. Okay, so anyways, with that said, let's get out of the temple and basically shoot that ruby eye. Okay, so just head out of the temple. Technically, we're still inside the temple. I mean, the music's still playing. Okay, so anyways, let's just activate this. No, it's just the center one that we need to activate. Yeah, I think it's just this one right here. Yeah, we should be getting some more arrows soon.
Okay, anyways. Get that. And the dungeon turns upside down. And we get a new and we get a new rendition of the theme. Oh, by the way, you can actually fall into the sky. The sky is a bottomless pit at this point. Yeah, that's right. Everything is upside down and it is so cool. Seriously, just this place, it has so much atmosphere, so much presence. But anyways, if you want to return the demo back right side up, just shoot the eye again. Shoot that emerald again. Anyways, or rather ruby. So anyways, on that note, I think that now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever that you want. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.